Brandon Gaming is just standing around outside. No job, I guess? Yep, no job. I'll have to give you a civilian job here in a moment. Rest in peace, Metal Slime. There's your body. The warthogs are coming to tear India. Hey, some migrants. Oh, come on down, guys. Where are they at? There they are. One, two, three, four, and a cow. And a five. Ooh, six. This is a good one. Seven. And a child. And, um, a turkey or something? A chicken! Nine, I think that was. I've already lost count. Ten. And a jackass. Eleven. Dang, this is a huge one. Twelve. And a puppy. Thirteen. Looks like he brought a weapon or something. And fourteen. What are you? A pump operator. You don't look like a dwarf I've ever seen. And he brought a bulldog. Nice. Another cat. And what are you? A fisher dwarf. You're not going to be a fisher dwarf for long. I hope you like weapons. More people coming in. I'm not even counting anymore. Looks like somebody dropped their bag. They were so glad to see our fort here. It's been such a horrible journey from the mountain homes. Thank God this place is running and functional. Uh, K-fish skin high boots. Somebody literally jumped out of their boots whenever they got here. I'm sure a dwarf will go pick those up now. And Andrew Sally, you've grown attached to a sterling silver dagger. I'm not sure how many things you've killed with it. But you haven't named it yet, unfortunately. There's Jello Snark picking up equipment. <sighs> he must have claimed those boots as soon as the people walked onto the map. He was up here spying on them. Hey, you down there, take off those boots if you want entrance. They're mine now. Otherwise, you're going to lose your feet. So, what is it? We've got 36 dwarfs now. First slate, mid-spring. And I think I'm going to go ahead, take a break, get all these dwarves named, get them sorted out and jobbed out. Probably make another squad. Um, fill up the two squads we've got, perhaps. What's flying around here? A bunch of stray chickens running around. Yep, so I got some... Uh, some work to do off screen, I think. Best get the dogs out and assign it to him in case he goes mad. Well, we've got our first mood. It's from Mr. Insane One, the soap maker. Well, I'm gonna keep my eye on you, Mr. Insane. Don't go insane and uh, make me end up having to kill you. It's currently 4th Fell Site, 317 late spring. Hasn't been a whole lot going on. Um, just been assigning people to the military, getting all the new, the new migrants acclimated, I guess, to their surroundings. We're having some food issues. We're running low on meat, um, almost out of drink. Our seeds aren't very diversified anymore. I'm out of cave potato seeds. I think I need to make some... What is that? I need to mill some plants, I believe it is. So, let's make a few kerns. Is that how it's pronounced? And I think that's how you can get seeds out of certain items. You can have them processed at those. Again, I think that's how it works. I don't know. I haven't been doing a whole lot of digging. I'm trying to get this tile right here channeled out so hopefully the fire will disappear. It says I've got a floor there, but I can't dismantle it. Remove construction. I've tried to remove construction, tried to um, channel it out. Yeah, meow, we have kittens, yay. Another food source, another leather source. Got a whole bunch of um, rock short swords being produced there, so all of our warriors will hopefully be equipped with obsidian weapons soon. Um, obsidian rock swords. I'm thinking about making the rock sword the automatic weapon, I guess. The preferred weapon for our military units instead of individual choice. I'm still not sure. I do like letting the dwarves choose their own items. I also want a functioning military and not somebody who runs around with a sock as a weapon or a wooden spear. We'll see what happens.
what's he waiting on down here? He is waiting on... Well, I know I've got a soap shop. Surely he doesn't want to make something out of soap. He's in a secretive mood. What other skills does he have? Glass maker. So no doubt he wants a glass shop. A glass maker shop, whatever it's called. Um, I think I'll start planning out also soon where some of our more advanced rooms are going to be. Let's see, where is it? Glass furnace? And... Hell, I'm going to be moving all my workshops eventually soon. So we'll just place it here. Make it out of go Gothite. I think that's what that, how that's pronounced. We'll let them get that up and running so Mr. Insane can, can make us something. An amazingly sharp glass serrated disc. Glass armor? Can you make glass weapons? Having all these animals run in and out of the uh, hospital can't be very sanitary. At this point, I'm kind of ready to do anything to get rid of this smoke that's in the hallway, so I'm going to try and collapse this floor. I'm going to mine out this pillar that's underneath it and then remove these ramps. Well, I guess I don't need to remove the ramps. it fall anyways. Bam. Was anybody caught in there? Dion stunned. I think Dion might be the only one that got hurt from that. Oh, don't tell me that the fire is still going there. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I'm just tired of the smoke being there. It's starting, starting to get on my nerves. Looks like it might be burning out then, hopefully. My fingers are crossed. Um, maybe it's that floor piece that's on fire. Was that floor piece? Can I even do anything with it? No. I'll tell you what I can do. I can build a floor over this. So even if that piece is on fire underneath there, I don't have to see it. And let's make it out of something that won't burn too. Fortunately, I don't have enough. I don't have enough anything. Well, that'll have to wait then. I'll start digging around mine and searching for more stuff. And RAR359, our dwarven child doctor, cancels surgery. The patient is not resting. Uh, RAR Doogie Hauser, that's what you are. I think you're taking over medical duties from Hippo Man. Hopefully you'll do a better job at keeping people alive. Avlexi is still there, starving and thirsty, lower spine damage. You're not being treated by the hospital staff, though. So learn how to use your crutches or, or something. I'm going to tear this hospital. Never mind, Avlexi, the farmer, has starved to death. Well, rest in peace, Avlexi. Is there somebody else dead right here, too? I'm just getting ready to die. Okay, well, I don't think I have a coffin for you yet. Um, burial receptacle. Start lining this room with coffins. And Avlexi is just the next person in a long line of dwarves that are going to die and disappear from the face of history. I'm sure that eventually you'll cycle back through, though. What do we have here? Cork tree crutches, aspen crutches. Looks like I also need to make some more bins. Making cabinets there. Um, I don't think I have enough beds for everyone made yet, either. Crafts dwarves. Um, on this right here, I said make rock short swords. It ended up using logs and making a whole bunch of um, wooden short swords. So if you use that, be careful. Your dwarves will be running around with wood weapons. And that's what mine have right now. So it's 18th fell site, late spring. It's been pretty uneventful spring so far, except for this annoying fire. 
base expansion continues. The military is training um, pretty much all the time now. I expanded them so they each squad has a full 10 people and they train each other in five man shifts. The Sylvan Elf Administrator Airy something has arrived from BAME 5. Well, come over to our depot, elves. Bring your, your donkeys and wares. I didn't bring very many. They must not trust us yet. Let's look at them. The Sylvan Elf. The Sylvan Elves are a proud race, extremely distrustful of other races. They value freedom highly, and thus imprisonment and slavery is banned in their society. They don't have a perfect memory, but remember those who fooled them. They are savage and instinctive. Their emotions are wild by nature, thus making them sometimes unstable. The wild elves are shamanic and animist. For them, everything has a soul, and the body is nothing but a shell. They put a great ritual at the birth of a child, but they don't pay any attention to burial. Well, just don't draw your weapons on us. We won't have to fight. And the Dusk Elf Farmer arrives. An elven caravan from Kolokarzum has arrived. Let's check out the Dusk Elves then. What are they like? Dusk Elves get along with the other races. They have good relations with dwarves as well and have a marked distaste for goblinoids. Unlike other elves, Dusk Elves are more open to other races and don't have distrust towards half-breeds. They live in stone towers that raise in their forests, and unlike their wild brethren, they will willingly trade with other races for metals, using them to forge the finest armors and weapons. Well, I'm going to let the uh, merchants arrive here then, unload their goods. Looks like they brought just a little bit more. They brought one bodyguard. The other Sylvan Elves didn't have anybody. Um... I guess I'll get some stuff transferred over to them, and when they're done unloading, I'll come back, and uh, we'll see what we have to trade with them. It's currently 20th fell site, late spring. And a horde of different elvish cultures has arrived at our doorstep. 